and to other airline news and in a move that's sure to please business travellers, Qantas has announced an increase in its services to Hong Kong. Joining us with the details and the rest of this week's travel news, welcome to the editor of Hotel Management magazine and travel editor of Time Out, James Wilkinson. James, thanks for your time today. We do appreciate Back it. Back to see you as always. So that's pretty good news for, for business travellers, isn't it? Adding extra flights. Uh, to, to Hong Kong. Yeah, Sydney, Hong Kong has always been a very popular route. Cafe does four times a day on it, so Qantas going in four days a week with the newly refreshed, refurbished uh, A330s with a brand new business class seat that you can recline uh, on takeoff and on landing, which is yeah. one of the, the first of its kind in the world. That four times a week up to Hong Kong from October 26. Really great news for business travellers. Uh, Qantas uh, uh, CEO Alan Joyce last week came out and said he'd love to have more flights to Hong Kong going forward. It's more of an air rights issue, so uh, hopefully this is the start of more things to come. And uh, Obviously, Qantas debuted Brisbane uh, to Narita uh, in, in Japan just recently. So a lot more capacity from Qantas into Asia, which is great news for corporate travellers. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, also the, the Star Refurb. We're looking at, to Sydney now and Echo Entertainment. The operators of the Star Casino have announced a, a huge makeover of one of the towers and residences. Yeah, 130 million getting pumped into the Star in Sydney. Echo Entertainment really going out there to try and up the product. They had a really good product there with the Darling Hotel, and what they've had was Astral just really wasn't on that sort of level. So Astral Town Residence is getting this huge makeover. They're calling it uh, a five-star contemporary offering, targeting business traveller with the tower, um, with with new chic rooms, targeting uh, more of the the uh, probably the the rising leisure traveller with the residences. So keen to see what they're up to. They're being very secretive with what they're uh, releasing at the moment in terms of imagery is concerned. Uh, but yeah, next year, they're talking sort of mid next year for this to be done and uh, quite a step up from what's there now, I can tell you. Yeah, it sounds like it. And also some new openings in Canberra as well on the hotel front. Yeah, Hotel East. Great little hotel in Monica, probably one of the best luxury lifestyle hotels in Canberra. Uh, very art-driven property. Uh, they've just put a great new bar in called Joe's off the lobby. Uh, okay. Very inspired. Uh, the, 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 the person who designed it um, really went for, uh, Kelly Ross I should say, went for a real um, kind of a hip contemporary look. And she was actually formerly a stage designer. So you've kind of got this really great inspired kind of uh, bar that's just something a little bit different. Like there's a concrete curtain, for example, inside it. But what you get though is really great contemporary Italian with local produce, uh, Italian wines, local Canberran wines and some great cocktails. Uh, uh, Antipasto plates, substantial plates and I think it's really good for a, quite a really cool lounge to go into a hotel. Canberra's really been lacking some amazing hotel bars. There's only a couple of good ones there so this really ups the ante in Canberra. Yeah, it looked like it. It was fantastic. Also moving on because you had your night of nights not long ago. They were the, the HM Awards. Tell yeah. us a bit about those. Yeah, had the HM Awards uh, last week and uh, uh, biggest hotel awards in the country and it was a huge night actually. Some really big awards on the night. Uh, luxury hotel in uh, Australia went to Park Hyde, Sydney but Crown Towers Melbourne took the overall Hotel of the Year honours, one of our big awards. Another big winner was Mantra Group, Accommodation Chain of the Year. That was a really big one for them. Uh, Shangri-La in Sydney, Best Business Hotel. They've, been, they've just upped their uh, year club lounge recently, so not surprising that they got the nod on that one. Uh, Emporium, Brisbane, Best Boutique Hotel. Uh, and New Hotel, one of my real favourites at the moment, Housey and House. But uh, we've got about 30 judges, so uh, obviously some of the real flavours of the month at the moment. And uh, uh, probably hotels that are really sort of on trend, I think that was one of the more pleasing things to see, the way the judges just voted in terms of the hotels that are making a statement and uh, one and only Heyman coming through with resort and uh, and the meetings and conferencing being shared between Fairmont and the Blue Mountains and Hilton Sydney, two really great conferencing hotels at the moment. And speaking of great hotels also in London, you've just come back from there and you were looking yeah. at a couple of boutique hotels there. What was your pick? Really exciting. Uh, the Laslitz just opened in Notting Hill. It's across the road from Notting Hill shoot. 51 rooms, got a great restaurant and bar downstairs. Uh, the London edition, uh, Schrager and Marriott's collaboration uh, Burner's Hotel in the uh, Burner's Restaurant in the lobby with Chef Jason Atherton, who's opening in Sydney this week, actually. Yes. Uh, fantastic restaurant, really great designer hotel. Um, Belgraves uh, in Belgravia, a Thompson Hotel. Um, really nice little product there. It's got a, a range of six different styles of rooms. Very sort of uh, contemporary glamour in that hotel. Um, the Bar and Terrace is really good. Pond Street Restaurant. One of the better ho one of the better hotel restaurants in that part of town, and it's a stone's throw from Sloan Square, so just down the street. Um, Mondriana Sea Container is one of the best new hotels in the world at the moment. Uh, Dandelion named world's best bar a few weeks ago. The restaurant Sea Containers is great. This is that real hip Mondrian kind of style of hotel, right on the Thames, and the, the balcony suites are phenomenal. You literally have the water rushing below you almost. And uh, one of the all-time favourites, Sanderson, which was designed by Schrager some time ago, has just had a bit of a makeover recently. 
recently, all the rooms have been redone, mm -hmm. and the uh, the terrace rooms on the top floor are definitely the ones to go for. Um, uh, they, there were Mad Hatter's high tea in their bar, which is wow, really I trippy. I have seen pictures of yeah. it, we just saw it a moment ago, pretty yeah. colourful stuff. It certainly is really interesting. Sanderson is one of the real classic West End London hotels, mm -hmm. and a real great makeover from that recently. It's. Uh, um, you know, it's on Burner Street as well, which is probably the hot street at the moment for boutique hotels in London. But uh, really a lot happening in the London scene. But Laslip finally at a hotel in Notting Hill where you want to stay. And uh, and, and it's so good because you're right near Paddington Station also with Thompson, with Belgraves, you're right near Paddington. And after a long flight, you really just want to be in a cab for 10 minutes after yeah. the train trip to central London. And, and what would be your pick of all of those that you saw? All of those? Um, you know what, I, I do like all of them for different reasons. Uh, the addition's probably a really hot one at the moment. But, you know, the Mondrian Sea Containers is great. And and for something really small, 50 rooms, Laslet's great. I mean, and like I said, having something in Notting Hill, we've been crying out for it for years. There's great hotels in, in Bayswater and in South Ken, and uh, it's finally good to have something on the doorstop of uh, Portobello Road. So you've got some great bars and cafes there now. It's not just about the markets anymore in Notting Hill, and great to see that suburb really coming along. Laslet, highlight. Yeah, James, thanks for that. Sounds like some great offerings there. It's fantastic fun. Thanks. Well, All-inclusive package tours aren't